So today we're going to be taking a look at tic-tac-toe and we're going to be trying to recreate this basic program in JavaScript. Now I have only implemented the base game so that means that you can check which person won either red or green. There's no tie and there's also no count of how many times you have won but you can see who was the last winner either red or green. And let me just basically sh let me just show you how it works if you don't know. You're essentially just supposed to get three in a row, three here, three here, three here, three here. So if I place a green, then a red, and then you see over here we have two green. Now because it's the green's turn, I can place a green here, and it will say green one, and it will clean the board. And if I do it like this, you can see that this will get a row as well, and it will say green one again. And if we just do that for a red, then we can see that the red can also win, and there you go. So that's what we're going to be making today. So in the HTML, we're just going to start with a basic sketch and we're going to be naming it tic-tac-toe. Then we're going to be referencing our style.css and we'll take a look at that one later. And then we'll define this game state, which is the one that just say red player versus so this one up here. This will be the game state. And under that, we'll define a diff with the game, and then we'll define diff tags like this. So 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and so on. And then we'll break right here with a break tag, so we will have three lines. So you have one line, then a break tag, one line, then a break tag. So it will create this um, shape here. And in our CSS, we uh, define that this game state should be centered. We set the width for the game and also we will center it and in the square we'll just set change the margin a little bit and set some borders and then set the display and the width and the height and you could obviously customize these to whatever you would like. So in the JavaScript we have a basic value up here which is just going to be set to either true or false and it will just be if it's x that's playing which will be the either the red or the green. So if it's true, then it's, let's say, green. And if it's false, then it's red. So we'll just use that to switch which player it is. This is the array that stores all of the fields. So it will just be an array with three arrays inside of. So that will be each of. So this will be the first array, this will be the second, and this will be the third array. Then we set the row and the column to one because we're starting with an offset of one. So if you look in the HTML, you can see it's one, one. So that's the first one, one, one. Then we'll loop through all nine squares. Then we'll just get that column. So at the row and the column, then we'll add an event listener to that element on click. And then what we're doing here is that we're checking if the background is white. So that means that we haven't set anything there. So if it's already either red or green, then we won't be able to change the square. And then we'll just say if it's X, then we will place a red one or else we will place a green one. And then down here we'll revert the X. So it will be opposite each time. Then we'll run this check function, which I will show you later. Then we are outside of this click event. So then we will, when we have gotten the element, we'll just set the field to white, which will actually set it to this value here. So when you check for the value, you have to check for this here and not for this value down here, but for this value up here. So this is a white and this is white. But when you check the value, then you have to make sure to use RGB values. The next thing I do is just grabbing that row and column and setting the element equal to it so that will be up in this array here and because array start with zero then we are offsetting this by one and then down here this will be the logic for switching to a new row and what that means is that once i hit this here it will just wrap down and wrap down and then we'll check the whole field then we're starting our check function the first one we do here is a vertical check so this function will check if these three are equal, if these three are equal, or if these three are equal. And you can see that how I do that. And if it's white, because that would actually cause a win, then I'm just checking that if it's not white, if it's just one of the colors. And then down here, I do the same for the horizontal. So that means that I'm checking if these three are equal, these three are equal, or these three are equal. And that way I cover the entire field. So that way I both cover it like this and like this. And the last thing here is our cross check. So this will check this way here. So we'll check if these three are equal. And the next one we're gonna be doing is just these three. And that will cover all cases. And you can see the code for that one here. And then we are running this win function with the color that that one. 
and our win function down here is just gonna check who has won and convert it to a color and it's gonna get the state element and set which player won and then we'll run this clean function with a delay so that means that it's gonna wait a second before it's gonna run this clean function which the clean function is here it's a pretty basic clean function it just grabs every single field and set it to fff so it will just clear the game board so that is tic-tac-toe so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.